So what is happening in Maharashtra politics? In this video, we're going to understand everything in detail. As you may know, in Maharashtra, we have a coalition government. A coalition government is formed with minimum two political parties or more than that. So three main political parties of India have together jointly formed the Maharashtra government in 2019. They are Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena, Sharad Pawar's NCP and Congress party. These three main political parties have been running a coalition government in Maharashtra since 2019. And of course, there are some smaller political parties and independent candidates who have also extended their support to this coalition government. So in 2019 Maharashtra State Assembly election, Shiv Sena won 56 seats, NCP won 54, Congress party won 44 and BJP won 105 seats. If you notice, BJP is the only single political party that has more number of seats in the 2019 Maharashtra Assembly election. But then BJP did not form the government. There was a coalition government of Shiv Sena, NCP and the Congress party. If you add the total number of seats of only these three main political parties, it is 154 seats. Maharashtra State Assembly has a total of 288 seats. That means if you want to form a government in Maharashtra, then you need 145 seats. 288 divided by 2 plus 1. But then Shiv Sena, NCP and Congress party together had 154 seats. So if you see, it is well beyond the mark of 145 that is required. Together, these three main political parties decided to form a coalition government. On top of it, some independent as well as smaller political parties have also shown their support towards this coalition government. So in total, by the end of 2019, the coalition government of Maharashtra enjoyed the support of 169 seats. When I say seats, it also means MLA, Member of Legislative Assembly. These members individually represent one single seat in the state assembly. And then in 2020 and 2021, 16 more MLA supported the coalition government and together the Maharashtra coalition government had a total of 175 MLA. And this coalition government in Maharashtra was given a name and the name is Mahavikas Aghadi Party. And they had a total of 175 seats out of 288 seats. Again, let me repeat, the three main political parties together only had 154 seats. 21 more MLAs joined them subsequently. These 21 MLAs came from Muslim Support, MIM, then Bahujan Vikas Aghadi. They are part of the UPA coalition. Even Communist Party of India Marxist has shown the support. Then Peasants and Workers Party of India, they are also Marxist. Then Prahar Janashakti Party, even they supported. Then Samajwadi Party. And finally, the independent candidates, even they supported the Mahavikas Aghadi coalition. Now recently what happened was on 22nd June, that is on Monday, Eknath Shinde, who is an MLA of Shiv Sena, he along with 29 more MLA from Shiv Sena went missing. They were unreachable. They were found to be resting in a hotel based in the city of Surat, Gujarat. They had no other place to go other than Gujarat. That means they have directly given a hint, they want to now support BJP. So initially there were 30 MLAs who went missing and now 37 MLAs are showing support to Eknath Shinde. If you remember in the beginning I said Shiv Sena has 56 seats and now 37 of them are not in support of Mahavikas Aghadi party or the existing Shiv Sena leader Uddhav Thakre. In fact these 37 MLAs have signed a letter and given to the governor of Maharashtra saying Eknath Shinde is the leader and not Uddhav Thakre. You can think of it this way, Eknath Shinde has created his own group within the Shiv Sena party. But then as I said, Maharashtra State Legislative Assembly has in total of 288 seats. If any political party or any alliance has to form a government, they need 145 MLA. So initially the Mahavikas Aghadi party had 175 seats. After the departure of 37 MLA, the number has come down to 138. So naturally the Mahavikas Aghadi party will have to face a no confidence motion because they don't have the required number of MLAs. In fact, Shiv Sena has also said they are ready to consider quitting the Mahavikas Aghadi alliance. That means they are ready to leave NCP and Congress party provided these 37 MLAs get back to Shiv Sena. Now this statement can give you a good picture as to how much Shiv Sena is right now on the verge of collapsing. And not just Shiv Sena, the entire coalition government is on the verge of collapsing. If you remember in 2019 Maharashtra election, BJP was the single political party that had maximum number of seats. So it is believed that BJP and Shiv Sena were together supposed to form Maharashtra government. Why? Because both the political parties are strong supporters of Hindutva. Everyone knows that Shiv Sena was started by Bala Saheb Thakre. And everyone also know that Bala Saheb Thakre was a staunch loyal supporter of Hindutva. But after his death, his son Uddhav Thakre did not pursue the same path. And that is why after 2019 election, Shiv Sena betrayed BJP and extended their support to NCP and Congress. 
Uddhav Thakre basically destroyed his father's legacy. And if you go back and check Bala Saheb Thakre's old interviews, in that he expressed his concern by saying after him Shiv Sena can easily become the second Congress. And that is what his son Uddhav Thakre did. So today when there is a political turmoil in his own party, one should not be surprised because it was bound to happen. Because everyone in Shiv Sena strongly believed in Bala Saheb Thakre's ideology. So naturally after his death, people would have similar expectations from his son. So somewhere I believe that people like Eknath Shinde and who knows many other prominent politician inside Shiv Sena they were waiting for an opportunity and right time and the right time came on 22nd June 2022 So Eknath Shinde has created a separate group within the Shiv Sena wherein right now he has more than half MLAs who are standing in his support So whatever the son did to his father's legacy his own party member did to him it's plain and simple Now what's going to happen is there are a couple of things I'll point out First you have to understand one thing it is not that easy to withdraw your support whenever you want to and give it to the opposition because there is something called anti defection law so according to this law Eknath Shinde and his supporters can get disqualified in fact Uddhav Thakre has filed disqualification applications against these 12 rebel MLAs not all of them only 12 including Eknath Shinde The reason they filed the disqualification application against only 12 MLAs because somewhere Uddhav Thakre is thinking that let's disqualify the main ones and the remaining ones we can give some offer and get them back. But if you read the 10th schedule of the Indian Constitution which talks about anti defection law, if you read the provisions that are given under this law, there is an exception. It says if 2/3 of the legislators of a political party decide to merge into another party, then they will not face any disqualification. If you see Eknath Shinde has two third members to support him that is why Uddhav Thakre is filing an application against only 12 MLAs so that the rest of them he can somehow convince and bring them back if he files disqualification application against all 37 of them then also it is Uddhav Thakre's loss and the second point is now we are hearing that more MLAs are joining Eknath Shinde there is also a picture wherein from 37 now 42 MLAs are sitting together with Eknath Shinde more independent mlas have extended their support so easily you can see he's way ahead of the 2/3 mark which is required to skip the anti defection law and uddhav thakre has been reduced to a minority within his party now the only thing we all will be looking forward is that in the coming days in maharashtra legislative assembly there will be a no confidence motion against the mahavikas aghadi party which is the ruling coalition government and as you know the current numbers of the mahavikas aghadi party does not enjoy the majority in the assembly so eventually the maharashtra government will dissolve and this new group that has emerged under the leadership of eknath shinde if this group decides to support bjp then together bjp and this new group will have 147 seats and even if they are short of any one or two mlas then i'm sure in the coming days few more here and there will join So finally what will happen is chief minister of Maharashtra that is Uddhav Thakre has to prove majority on the floor of the legislative assembly of the state he has to move a vote of confidence and win a majority among those present in the voting if at all he doesn't have a majority then he will be asked to resign now once it is established that the Mahavikas Aghadi party has lost the majority then this new Shiv Sena group under the leadership of Eknath Shinde may give his support to BJP and together they can claim to form the government by exceeding the minimum required number of seats that is 144 and by the way the floor test is ordered by the governor under article 174 of the constitution and as per this article if the existing chief minister fails to prove majority then the governor has the constitutional power to dissolve the legislative assembly so let's see what happens in the coming days i hope you found this video informative Thank you for watching it.